Hey everybody, Deborah with Pinching Pesos here, and I thought I would start a new series um, called What's Being Listed. Um, instead of doing typical haul videos like I used to do, I thought it would be better for me to just show what I'm actually listing right now. Um, kind of just like a haul, but it's got the same research that I did in haul videos, uh, the same kind of information only. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just save the drafts while I'm doing research with you guys to show like how much I'm going to charge for them. Uh, hopefully what they'll sell for. Um, I know I've been gone for a while. I uh, had a really busy life for the last couple months. The entire summer was the most insane time for me. I don't think I've ever been this busy having that many things going on. Um, and I thought last week would have been like, my time to really get back into work and get back into business. And it just didn't turn out like that. Uh, but this is the week. This is it. We're, we're getting back into business. Life has settled down. My office is set up. Um, the house is set up. So it's, it's just time to get back to making some money because honestly, I'm broke. You know, my household's not broke. You know, my husband, uh, runs his own business and he's fairly successful doing that and um, but as far as like pinching pesos pinching pesos has been pinching pesos man I have been trying to budget my booty off and um, because I, I haven't been selling anything uh, for June and July I had my store completely off you couldn't buy any of my items uh, at the end of July, I went in and I turned my store back on, but I had a five-day handling time because everything was in storage and we were all moving still. We didn't get moved in until the first week of August. Now, keep in mind, we closed on our new house June 6th, so it took us some time to get over here. So I, I had a five-day handling time, which I still have now. I need to take it off um, because the storage unit that I have all of my uh, items stored in is literally like three minutes from my house. Like I can see it from my backyard. So that's really awesome. It's a uh, super convenient. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, I have about, I don't know, eight things that I thought I'd go over that I've bought in the last six months that I, I don't think you guys have seen maybe one or two of them I've shown you, but other than that, I haven't done any haul videos in quite a while. So uh, we're just going to go over them and see how it goes. And if this is successful, then I'll keep doing this. I had plans to continue to do this series like two to three times a week, basically showing uh, what I'm doing, what I'm listing. Um, so progress. Yay. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I have here is actually something I posted on uh, the Reseller Society this morning. I rarely ask any questions in any of the groups, um, but this one really threw me for a loop because I bought these shoes. If you know, if you've been following along with me for a while, you know I like to buy and sell women's comfort shoes. I think they're the easiest things to sell um, they don't have the sizing or, or uh, you know, just kind of problems of buying shoes online. Like, say, for instance, selling stilettos or tennis shoes. Because I know myself, I can buy the same brand of shoe over and over again. It can even be, like, the same product line. And each shoe fits differently. One shoe will be, I need a half size smaller. Some of them I need a half size bigger. Some of them I need a whole size um, so I try to stay away from shoes that are really going to give me a problem with sizing or fitting, fitting, I guess fitting is the proper word. So I stick with comfort shoes. I bought these because they were very similar to other shoes that I've sold, which is fit, fin comfort. Um, I always pick those up if I see them and they're in good condition. Uh, Allegria, they're, they're all similar. They all have these removable insoles. Um, and the companies make the shoes where they're supposed to be that this stands up and you need to buy new insoles for them. Um, basically quality shoes. This, since it was similar to all the other, all the other shoes that I'm used to, 
I went ahead and bought, even though I couldn't see what brand it was. I knew it wasn't Finn Comfort. I knew it wasn't Allegria. Um, but I just couldn't see. So I did post a picture on uh, the Reseller Society this morning. And like almost instantly, somebody came back and said, oh, that looks like La Plume or Plume, La Plume. Um, shoes that I have for sale. So I went and looked it up and compared it. And it is the same spacing and everything. And I can even see now like the E, the M, the U, that this is supposed to be an L. Um, so all of the lining is correct. So these are Le Plume or La Plume or however you want to say it. Um, they don't sell for as much as I thought they would in comparison to like the other brands. And I wasn't even going to list them whenever I started looking at solds this morning after I figured out what brand they were. But, um, I'm going to show you here in a second why I decided not to keep them and to go ahead and list them because there aren't any other ones like this. Let me check the chat real quick just to make sure everybody doing okay. Uh, what's a good way to ship shoes? Uh, I ship them in a box unless they're smaller and more sturdy. Like here's another pair of shoes that I'm going to list. It's a tiny pair of dance goes and nothing is going to happen to these babies if I put them in a flat rate padded envelope. Uh, so these will go in a flat rate padded envelope, but typically any shoes, um, unless they're sandals, you know, flip flops, something that's not gonna get uh, messed up, like Chacos, um, I will typically uh, put them in a box, uh, priority mail. Um, because shoes typically are two pounds, uh, two pounds priority. On heavier shoes, if it's a three pound, like say for instance, it's going to be boots, I'll go ahead and give the option of shipping them um, smart post and priority because to the customer, it can be a $5 difference in how much they're going to be charged. Um, the smart post might come out to be, you know, $7.85 or $8, something right in that range, while priority for that customer would end up being like, 11 50 12 bucks so depending on where it's going so i do give the option to do both um just in case when it's going to be over two pounds and okay all right all right, all right. let's go all right so the la plume brown and i did notice something else i always call Oops, that's the wrong button. I always call this style of shoe a mule. But I did notice that people were also calling them clogs, which I always thought clogs were more like this, that this is a clog. But I guess I'll just double, double keyword. Oh, ha, you can't even see my camera. I'm showing you things and you can't even see me. Anyway, I'll show you in a sec. Uh, the reason why I decided to go ahead and list these instead of throwing them back, because if you see... On the solds they're just not selling for that much I mean ten dollars twelve dollars this pair went for a lot but it's because they're new um, I mean we're looking here in the ten to twelve twenty dollar range this were twenty dollars free shipping um, so I was like you know this might not even be worth my time however when I went through the list of the ones that were available the particular one that I had this I don't know if that was the right use of particular. The pair that I have weren't listed and like the style of them. And since they're a size 41, which is a very good size, uh, a 41 is going to be like a size 10 and a half, size 10, 10 and a half right there, which is a really popular women's size. So I'm going to go ahead and list these. Um, I paid $9.99 for them. I'm hoping that they were on half off day, but I'm thinking that they weren't. I bought these back in March. This is how far behind I am. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and list these for $34.95. They're not super heavy, so they'll go two pounds. And um, I'm just going to list them for $34.95 free shipping. And I think that'll that'll work fine on, on this particular pair of not so great shoes but what i was saying when i wasn't showing you was that i call these mules and that people call them clogs um i consider this like the dance go like this to be more of a clog or like even you know like this is a clog but i guess people are using like cross using 
mule and clog, even though that's probably not accurate, or it could be completely wrong. All right. <clears throat> Check the chat again. Uh, Resale Remy saying, I ship tennis shoes in a padded flat rate. I have shipped tennis shoes in a padded flat rate. I think the problem with me with tennis shoes is that, um, boy, it's a snug fit in there. And I really try my best to do good product presentation in the shipping process. And if I have to cram it in there, I'm not, I'm, I'm less inclined to do that. But there are some tennis shoes like size sixes and sevens that you can get away with putting in a flat rate. Um, but any bigger than that, they're really crammed in there. I know, um, I, I purchased a pair of shoes, tennis shoes, they're size 10, 10 and a half, and they cram them in a flat rate padded mailer. And my impression when I received it was just like, yeah, this isn't nice. Even though the shoes weren't damaged and it was fine, it just wasn't very nice looking. All right, let's go ahead and look at these dance goes. These were actually given to me by a friend, uh, her daughter, didn't wear them, and uh, but I'm still going to put them as used because they are, you know, kind of in used condition. These little pink dance go Mary Janes are adorable. Let's go ahead and look those up. Let's see. Oh, me. Let me share my screen with you guys. Okay, so let's go with dance go. Pink Mary. And here's a pair right here for $48.51. And not a lot can look at that. There's only 19 search results with Pink and Mary. Which I didn't put Mary Jane's. I just put Mary. Uh, let's look in completed. Uh, don't see a pair yet. Hmm, I don't see a pair yet that match. What I want to try to get a comparison on is the actual size since these are children's. So here's a similar pair. Ooh, those really went for nothing. Oh, here's a pair, $23.39. They were on sale. It's just the exact same ones. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this listing. And based off of this, and these are in really similar conditions to what I have, I'm going to go ahead and list these for $29.95 free shipping. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to sell similar on this item or sell one like this. And um, just go ahead down here and put my price based off of the research that we just did together. $29.95 and we'll put priority flat rate padded free shipping. I'm gonna remove that smart post one. I did go ahead and switch over to two business day um, shipping on all my new listings just because it wasn't worth it to me <laughs> to have it be the one business day and have the top rated seller plus. I'll just stick with having top rated seller, which I don't have right now anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and save this for later. And then when I get done with this uh, broadcast, then I'm going to take pictures and go ahead and list things based off of the uh, drafts that I have. All right. So those are done. And Dina says, I agree. I'll not ship things uh, that are just stuffed in packaging. Um, yeah, I, I just, I really try to... Um, to be conscious of the way things look when they're delivered because I know when I buy things, and this is just me personally, when I buy things, um, the presentation, like the actual delivery of the item has a lot to do with my customer experience. I've bought things that I was really excited to receive and they were just packaged so poorly, even though they arrived well, it was almost like if somebody gave you a gift and they like had it in a garbage bag. You know what I mean? Like you're just like, hmm. Thanks, you know, and that's uh, kind of the way that I received my item. It was just like in a box with like some wadded up grocery bags and then like they used a flat rate padded mailer as like protectant of it. 
and they put it in the box and I don't know it just wasn't a great presentation um, so it really took away from like my buying experience so I try to keep that in mind when I'm doing things all right so we have another pair of dance goes here I bought these for $5.99 at Goodwill looks like back in May and uh, I hadn't been buying dance goes a lot over the last year or so just because they the market really got saturated they were on bolo list for a while and it just wasn't the same so back in like 2012 2000 yeah about 2012 you really could just you could get a plain black pair of dance goes nothing special about them and they were gonna sell great um but over the last couple years the market's just really gone down on them um i've seen some that they're not even selling for 20 dollars free shipping so I stopped buying them, but if I do see any that are like um, the leather, um, what do they call it, where it's like has an impression, like they have designs, or if they're special colors, or if they have like special patterns, I will go ahead and pick those up. Make sure that whenever you're buying dance goes that you do give them the bend test, because sometimes they will dry rot, and you they look perfect. But as soon as the customer puts them on and starts wearing them, the sole will split right here. So make sure you just go ahead and bend them back like this and make and that they're not dry rotted. Tooled leather. Thank you, Angie. I was looking for that word. Tooled leather. Some of the dance goes that have the tooling will still sell for really good money. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and look these up. I don't know how I'm going to even describe these. Like little vent holes. Like, I don't. I don't know what that would be, vented. <laughs> so, uh, but let me go ahead and look these up with you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go black dance go. And what would these be? Uh, they're not dots. There, I'm just gonna put vent. Let's just try vent. <laughs> See, they call these vent air vent. Uh, maybe vent is not the right word. You guys got any suggestions for me in the chat of what might be a good uh, keyword for these tiny holes all over the shoes? Yeah, embossed is also another word that gets used um, when dealing with. Oh, wait, what were those? Oh, no. I thought those were dots, but they're not. They're a design. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to try to search here, huh? Oh, look, there's only 15,000 black dance goes, so this should be easy. I think this is a design. I've seen those before. Those aren't vent holes. Maybe I'll just put the word holes. Holes, maybe? Nope, that didn't help. Perforated. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be a word, but I'll try it. Perforated. Oh, perforated is a word. Look at that. See, don't judge before you look, huh? Perforated flats. I have never heard of that word in reference to shoes before. But perforated is a word. Hmm. How did you know that? I've never heard that. All right, so I don't see my shoes here. And I do need to put the word clogs because these are clogs. Oops, let's look at, oh, this looks like mine. Perforated, this has roses though, and mine's just plain. Uh, all right, I'm not gonna spend too much time researching stuff that I know is just gonna go for generally the same prices. So I'm going to price these $39.95 free shipping. They're a size 38, so I believe I can either get these into a regional A box. Yeah, they can go into a regional A box. Maybe I'll do $44.95. I'm going to do $44.95. Mm. Let me do... See, they had theirs $44.95, and then they put them on sale, but they had shipping. All right, I'm going to do $49.95 in uh, free shipping, and then I'll do or best offer. Oh, that's such a funny name. It says, hey, you honey. 
Oh, look, they have the same size as mine, too, so that makes it easy. We'll just take out the word roses, dance good professional clogs, perforated black leather, blah, blah, blah. We'll work on this later. This is going to go into the women's shoe category. And we're going to go down here and put these $49.95, not $439. We're going to say best offer. And we'll do free shipping on them. You know, I think... You know, most of the time what I try to do when I do free shipping is I go ahead and say that it's going to be FedEx Smart Post just because it sets their expectations properly. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do priority mail just because I know these are going to go in a regional A box because I know 38s will typically fit in a regional A. So let's save this for later. All right. Check it out. Check it out. Check. Perforated is a very common word in leather designs. Yeah, Flippin' Joe says vented. I think I'm going to also add vented. Um, let me do that real quick before I forget. I think I'm going to add the word vented. Um, just because. It's an extra keyword and I have space. Uh, what type of tread do those have? They have dance go tread. I mean, pretty much all the tread on a dance go clock looks the same. And no, I don't need to put what kind it is. Um, I will put the sole. See, these are foam soles. I will put if it's a wood. Um, but no, I'm not going to. Da, 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 da. Don't you know that the eclipse is happening? Why are you on here? It's not happening. It's 11 o'clock. It's not supposed to be doing anything in Texas. The full experience is supposed to be, I think, at 11. No, 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 no. 1. At 1 uh, 30, I believe. And I don't even have any glasses. I'm going to have to go out to the shed and try to find my husband's welding goggles. Uh, bye, Angie. See you later, lady. Okay, so next up. So, so far we're at 30 bucks, what, $34.95. I put these at $50. Uh, the next thing I picked up, and I know you're going to be shocked, but I went to garage sales. Oh, I know! Who's this person? I went to garage sales. I figured out what it was about why I think I didn't like garage sales all of this time. Um, if y'all have been following along with me for a while, you know that I have anxiety pretty bad. Um, and I get overwhelmed when there's too much of something. So that's why typically when I go to the thrift stores, I don't look in the purses section or the luggage. Maybe that's why I don't like doing clothing other than the fact that I don't like, uh, don't like, you know, listing them. It's really not that bad. I think it's that there's just too much stuff. And so I get easily overwhelmed with things like that. And I think the fact when I was in Austin, if you, if you don't know, we moved outside of Austin. We moved 25 minutes away um, from the Austin, from Austin. And so it's just like a straight shot down the highway, but we moved. And um. So anyway, back to my point. I think that the reason why I didn't enjoy garage selling was because it's almost like FOMO where you fear of missing out. There were so many garage sales. If you ever watch any of the YouTube people here in Austin, like uh, Bonafide Hustler or Q from Eagle Eye Nation, um, I don't know if there's another one. I know there's some on Instagram. But if you ever watch them, I mean, they'll post about there's so many garage sales. Like, there'll be 150 of them, you know? And you're literally, you literally can just be driving all over the place. And when we moved here to this small town, there's 13,000 people here. I discovered it changed something about my personality and the way that I looked at things. And, um, like, I'm a lot nicer to people. I'm like so nice to everyone here. Like the drive through people, I'm just like, yes ma'am, thank you, have a good day. And like when I was in Austin, it was just like, 
for some reason, the hustle and bustle of so many people, you know, and everything's so, everyone's in such a hurry. And I had that same attitude, like, get out of my way and my time's important, you know, as opposed to here, everything's so much slower, you know, it's 35 miles an hour through town, you know, everything's so much slower and just more compacted. And so I actually went garage selling. Um, I stopped and picked up um, an item at the garage sale right down the street from my house. And uh, and then I was like, oh, there's another sign and there's another sign. And, and then I remembered like, oh, there was supposed to be a church sale. It's called a clutter, clutter or something. And uh, it was 1245 and the thing was ending at one. So I got over there and I ended up with like a, a filler box for $10. And so I bought a couple of different things. And one of the things in that filler box was uh, this hat. I didn't look it up. Um, it was free. You know, I had already put the stuff and she's like, oh, it's $10. And then uh, I just started putting more stuff in there. And it was still $10 until I started grabbing like a whole more bunch of stuff. Like uh, a big, those you know, those Aero, A-E-R-O the hydroponic growing kit things. I ended up picking up one of those and then like a couple other things. So I gave her another five bucks. So I spent $15. Um, so that's a really long story about this hat. So it was free. Let's go ahead and look it up. <laughs> that was long winded. All right, let's, oh, let me get off this screen. and get back to my other screen okay so this is a pirelli app oh look at that it's a good buy yay it, it well it wasn't a buy it was free but okay cool um i did have somebody i answered a question on youtube earlier today. Uh, it was actually from two months ago and I just didn't see it. I, I try to answer people when they have questions. Um, and it was asking about, it was on the global shipping program video that I have. And it was asking about, can you ship hats and poly mailers? And I was like, well, you can, but just because you can, doesn't mean you should, uh, put hats in boxes. I mean, it doesn't add to the weight. It's still going to, I mean, very much, it's still going to go first class and it's not going to get all smushed and it goes back to that thing of product presentation, you know? So anyway, all right, yay, we have hats. I'm going to go ahead and put used, and then we're going to go to souls, and we're going to turn off my phone, which I thought that I did, and I don't know why I turned back on. And here's one that was on auction. I don't typically go off those prices. Here's one that was $9.99. And I want to look and see real quick what the new ones are selling for. So the new one's $15.99 plus shipping. That one went for $32. So it looks like the new ones are going for quite a bit more. I'm going to put this $14.95 free shipping is what I'm going to do. Uh, let me find some good keywords here. Men's F1 Black Pirelli Flat. This one's not flat. It's been curved. Um... Moto Hip Hop B-Boy. What's a Moto Hip Hop B-Boy? That seems like keywords I don't want. And they put F1 twice. Is it really a baseball cap if it's a racing cap? And this one's not a snapback. This one is a um, adjustable strap. That's what you would call the uh, Velcro. Don't use that word, Velcro, right there. You'll get Verroed for your Velcro. Um, so just don't put that in because they will catch you eventually. I had a pair of shoes that were pulled because I used the, the word Velcro because they were Velcro straps. And um, that is a brand, not a description, not an adjective. So they will Verroed you if you misuse the word Velcro. There's another one, Velcro. So what you can put instead of Velcro is you can just put adjustable strap. I don't 
don't see any keywords I want to use here. This, this one's not bad. They had six bids on that, too. Oh, that one got removed. Did they use the word Velcro? No. Maybe they had it in the description. All right. Here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this title, and I'm going to go to case. Um, let's see. Case convert. Here it is. I use case convert and I just paste it in there and I change it to capitalize case. And we'll take that out and F1, it's a racing hat. I don't need to put cotton. Moto, GP, motorcycle, baseball cap, adjustable strap. And we're going to just find one and sell somewhere. Austin has an F1 track. We just um, got it a couple years ago. They've done a really good job with it. It it. They do all kinds of different stuff there. Um, they have the the Austin City Limits Amphitheater is over there, and so a lot of concerts. I'm gonna go first class on this baby. Free shipping. I'll put it as 13 ounces in case it goes international, and we're gonna save for later. Okay. I'll stop sharing. Check it a chat. Check it a chat. Oh, trucker hat. Yeah, it is a it is a I guess a truck trucker hat. Did you say pace clipper? No, I didn't. Hook and loop. Yeah, it is hook and loop Velcro. However, it's nobody looks that up. Never in my life were like, hey, do you have any of those hook and loop shoes? If I went to the store and asked for hook and loop shoes, nobody would know what I was talking about. So I'm not gonna waste my keywords on things that aren't important. Uh, okay, next. All right, I have a set of Remington tie curls, and I paid five ninety nine for them back in April. I do believe I did show these in a haul video, um, but let's go ahead and look them up. If you're not familiar, they're always a really good buy. They've been on Bolo list for a really long time, but they've consistently stayed at being a good buy. Don't underprice them. Don't get in a hurry and be like, oh, I'm going to give my money back because typically you're not going to pay that much money for them. Um, so just wait it out and get your money, you know? Remington, white curls. Uh, you're going to want to keyword them. See, $49.99 is typically the going price on these. Uh, you don't need to have the clips. If you can find the clips, that's amazing. They're the little white clippies. Um, you're going to get more money for them, but you're not going to get knocked on these for not having clips. And you can see 50 bucks is typically what they go for. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, Wax Talk, I'm going to go ahead and just take this one. Someone like it. These fit perfectly in a regional A box. So I would uh, just put them in one and ship them off. If you're not familiar with regional A, regional A ships at a two pound rate. Um, so you can put up to 15 pounds in a regional A box and you'll be charged for what would be two pounds. Um, people normally get really confused and they're like, I don't know what to put my thing as. Just put two pounds. If you're going to use a regional A box, when you go down to do your shipping and you're going to put your weight, put two pounds. It'll charge the appropriate rate for them and you won't overpay for your shipping. So we're going to put these at $59.95 and we're going to do free shipping priority mail in case it goes international and we'll save for later. All right. 
next thing that we have, let's see, what's the chat doing? What are they called? They're called Remington tight curls. Um, did you notice that the cell seminar has 10% to charity? No, it, it, that, it didn't pick up to 10% to charity. That is something that I do. I give 10% to Texas Sweeties Dog Rescue, um, which is a local nonprofit that's really tiny, and they uh, take animals uh, that are being surrendered at the shelter and they instead take them before they ever go into the shelter and they put them into foster homes until they're adopted. And that's where we got our very first dog, Foxy, and we love her. And uh, they're just really amazing people. So I try to contribute to them as much as I can um, because they're tiny. They don't have a ton of support. And so anyway, yeah, the charity's there on purpose. The next thing I bought, I paid $2.99 for this bag of remotes. It has two remotes in there. One's a Samsung DVD remote, and one is a Sony receiver remote. So let's go ahead and lift those up. So we'll just say that they're $1.50 a piece. Oh, is it's ready. All right, so the first one we have, if you can't find the model number of the remote, they're normally on the remotes at the very bottom, but it, sometimes they're inside the battery covers. But these ones are both on the actual fronts of the remotes. So we'll go with Sony, receiver, remote, and we're at RMU301. Alrighty, and we'll go on the completed. So 1022, 1539. It looks like it works on multiple units. If you can find that information on what units it works on, uh, that's great too. And looks like this one came from China. That's not the same remote that I have. Did I type it in wrong? No. Let's see. This is the remote that I have. So this is the unit that it's for, the CDPCX55. Uh, they put in compatible models. That's awesome. So one like it. And I'll put some more stuff up here. Um, I'm going to find out if it's the same remote as those other ones but I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It's just a remote. Remotes are easy. You shouldn't be spending too much time on them. Uh, the way you can test them is just to shine the, put some batteries in them and just shine it towards your phone camera lens and see if the, um, see if it's sending a signal, see if it's, uh, the infrared is working. And, um, and that's it. I've never had one come back as like, oh, this doesn't, this doesn't work. And then the next one that I have is the Samsung, and these are just together in a bag, so I had no other choice. 00092E. And it looks like that one's not a super fantastic one at all. Nope. It's not. So I'm already here, so I might as well. Eh. We'll go first class, free, blah, 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 and save. All right. Done with that. What else we got in this box? Oh, y'all might have seen this in a haul video a while back. I bought this back in March. It is a new old stock L.A. Bright's point and shoot pocket camera. So let's see, let me check the chat real quick and then we'll go back. Uh, 
now you showed, but you need to go find another curler which you had driven over in the driveway. Yes, um, that, that, uh, Dina's talking about that. those ones that I sold. You can see that there's two in these Remington, there's two missing. Because the bo I was holding it by the thing, and the top fell off, and all the curlers fell, and two of them rolled underneath the car. And I was like, oh, I'll just get this tomorrow when I move. Well, I forgot all about them and ended up rolling over two of them. But I actually do have another set, so I have them. Like, it's actually right here. I have the two. I keep them for extras just in case things like that happen. All right, let's go ahead and go with the camera. Look at the camera. And da, 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 da. Let's share my screen with you so we can learn a thing or two. All right, Vivitar. Vivitar. Now, when things have periods, I, I it, it's hard to try to look those things up because they get presented differently in search. So I'm going to try LA Brights. And you can see it picked up the periods there. So yeah. So I think when I do my listing, it's picking up both. So I'm going to go ahead and just put L dot A dot. So the one that I have is similar to this, but mine is pink. There's an orange one. Look at the completeds. Purple, purple. I don't see a pink one. All right, let's find the one that's got the best keywords. That one, new and unopened, an original unopened package. I think I will try to find some better keywords than this. What do they have down here? Oh, they got all the models and everything. Okay. Um, I don't like putting new when they're not really new because the package is all old and damaged and crusty. But um, let's see. LA Brights. Pocket camera. I'm going to say, when is this from? Oh, it's from 91. So we'll put 90s. 90s bright color. We'll put bright pink color. Uh, film. All right, I'm just gonna put that for now. And in this one, I will put in a box. I'm not gonna try to ship that in a poly mailer just because it's not gonna look very nice. So I'm just gonna say, it's gonna go free smart post. Nah, I'll do priority, I'll just do priority. <coughs> did I put the price? I did. I'm going to try $29.95. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, never know. I paid $5.99 for it. Um, so we'll see. I didn't look it up before I left the store. I just put it in my cart and went off with it. The next thing I'm going to be listing is these curlers. They are the Clairol, Clairol Lock and Roll. They used to get a little bit more money than they do now. I looked them up recently because I was just talking about them. Um, actually, with Amy Mays. Um, let's see. Clairol. What are they called? Roll. Yeah, Lock and Roll. There's another brand that has a really similar thing. Spoolies is a very good keyword to use for these. Uh, completed. 
they used to go from like about ten dollars more you could kind of easily let me share my screen you could kind of easily sell them for in the more closer to thirty dollar range and now it looks like they're going for more like twenty uh, but they do flip they do fit in a regional a box so I would go ahead and put them in there uh, electric I did put electric that's a waste of a keyword they didn't put spoolies but they did sell theirs uh, curler spoolies model I'll go with that one I don't need the word model though Uh, curlers, rollers, pageant, sheer, uh, spiral. I'm going to throw the word spiral in there. I have space, I try to put spiral. And so I guess, based off of what we're looking at here, what I pay for these, $3.99, and they were half price. So I paid $1.50 for them. I'm going to just go ahead and put them for $24.95. I'm going to say that they're going to come smart post, but they're they're going to go ahead and go regional. But just in case it's um, too much, because some of those shipping rates, they for two pounds, they can get up in the $10 range. And if I can ship it for $7.50, I'd rather just ship it for $7.50. So... All right, so the last two things that I'm going to be working on listing are actually these dolls, and I did take pictures of them the other day. I was trying to list them last week, but I got all caught up over analyzing. I had analysis paralysis. Um, I bought a new lighting kit, and all of my backgrounds are just like all gray, and I hated it. It just didn't look good, and I was like, geez, I wasted $100 because this looks like junk um but i did end up getting it to start taking some better pictures it was actually me and probably my backdrop as opposed to the lights being bad um but i took pictures of these and i bought them like six months ago these two dolls they're gobel or i don't know how you say it properly i'm sure that's really wrong but gobel I bought a Marie Antoinette, and I bought a Empress Mary Elizabeth, and I paid up for them. I paid twenty four ninety five for two, so it was fifty bucks. They were twenty four ninety five each, and when I got to doing my research, because I did research in the store and thought it was a good buy, when I got to do my research now. It may have been a big mistake. So let's go ahead and look them up. And you can see what I'm talking about. They're really beautiful. Um, and I don't normally pick up dolls at all. Like at all. But um, and you can see I did start doing research. I do have it down here where I found a listing. Gorble limited edition tea cozy uh, Empress Mary with the box and the stand. So let's go ahead and... I'll show you um, what was she called Elizabeth what Empress Elizabeth there's one listed for 125 but I think that was the one that was listed whenever I bought mine if you look at the completed there's another one here that didn't sell for $10.99 and it was with a friend. Let me go ahead and share with you. I keep forgetting to do that. Let me go back. See, this is the only one listed right now. It's $125. And I believe that's probably what I saw whenever I bought these. Because these other two probably weren't there. But you can see this one did not sell for $35, and this one did not sell for $10.99. So this one went on best offer. Uh, 
Clipper Tools. It went on best offer for $25. So, well, at least I know that I can give my money back um, minus fees. But the only one listed now is 125 If you look at Worth Point, Uh, they kind of ranged all over the place over the years. They've sold for 60, 50, 60 down to 15, that one for 70. Um, I'm thinking maybe while the only one listed is 125, I might be able to scoop out a little bit more money if I come in cheaper than them at say like, you know, 69.95 and then I just look like really cheap and they're really expensive, you know. Um, but you can see it kind of ranges anywhere from nothing to 70 bucks. So I think if I do 69.95 while that other one is listed for 125, I might be able to get more money out of it than I typically would. It was really disappointing. I thought it was going to be better. <laughs> it was one of those, oh, get good pictures in the front on a white background. I already have them. Um, I already took pictures and they're actually really nice. Um, I used GIMP. So let me show you uh, what I ended up with. They turned out really great and it didn't take very long to turn the background from gray to this. This is what I ended up with as far as my background was concerned. So they turned out really awesome and I'll show you the background before was hot mess. It looked like this. I don't know if you can see because it's kind of tiny, but it was gray. It actually looked just like this gray right here. It was gray. Um, so I used GIMP and I just clicked twice for on the little like white balance dropper dealy that it has, and it totally fixed my picture um, to have a nice whiter background instead of gray like this it was gray like that not good um i could show you real quick how easy it was here let me open let me open gimp so open with gimp and all i did Here's GIMP. All I did was go up here to colors, go to levels, click this little dropper, and find a white point, and you can see how it whited it out. And you have to be really careful because sometimes it can, like, see how it's overexposed, that one. Um, depending on how dark the gray is that you're clicking on, it can overexpose quite a bit. So just like that, I think that's fine. Um, and then it's going to be cropped down, so it won't be as gray as it originally was. But, yeah, they came out really nice um, for what I was trying to do. Like that. Okay, so I have another one of these things, and it is Marie Antoinette. So we'll look that one up, and maybe it's my saving grace, because I haven't looked that one up at all yet. Um, let's see, sorry, I went to go look at the chat. You have to have another set of lights pointing at the back. I have three lights. I have 12 total lights. I have them pointing at the background. It just, I think it is the actual background itself. It's just, um, too gray. And it, maybe I just need to, like, I think that it's not reflecting the light properly is what's happening. But, yeah, there's 12 bulbs facing the background. And there's one on the top that's just, like, on the background. So, I don't know. I'll get it worked out. We'll see. All right. So, Goebel, and we're looking at Marie and one. I don't know how to spell Marie Antoinette. I'll just put Marie. Hmm. Antoinette. Oh, it was close. Okay. 
Sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay, so the one I have is this one here. $150. Um, that's probably the listing that I saw when I bought it. And that's why I spent $25 on it. Um, here's one that didn't sell for $65. Here's one that went on bid $25. Wow, they had $36 shipping. What the world were they doing? Anywho, um, they're not that heavy. So since the only one that's listed is listed at 150 bucks, then I think I can probably try to list mine um, just like the other one more reasonably to try to get more money even though they're not really selling for that much. So I'm going to go ahead and put it $69.95. And I don't think the other one even had... Did it have um, best offer? Three and one net. That's not how you spell it. There we go. All right. So the other one listing is one fifty. Does not have best watcher. I mean, does not have best offer, and it has eight watchers. Hmm. Okay. Based off that information. That it's $150, doesn't have best offer, charging shipping, and there's eight watchers on it. Maybe I'll up my price. All right, let me put this one at $99.95. I'm going to put best offer. And I'm going to say for reshipping, let me do flat rate. Free shipping. And then, based off the fact that it's three pounds, I'm going to put priority mail as an option for, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna just going to do it priority mail because it's glass and it's easier to get my money back uh, from the post office than it is from SmartPost. Uh, typically, if I have something that's of value that I'm sending smart post, I'll just go ahead and ensure it with ship saver. Since this item's not very heavy, it's not going to really be cost effective for me to waste my box and pay 80 cents for insurance. So I'll just go ahead and do a priority mail. All right, $99.95 or best offer and I have free shipping. So I'm totally going to beat out this person. So if any of those eight watchers have saved search, then as soon as mine's listed, they're going to get an alert and mine's cheaper than the other one. So there's my rationale on how I priced that one. All right, guys, that's all I got. Um, that's all the stuff that I'm planning on listing today and tomorrow. Uh, we do have the reseller stew. We'll be back tomorrow since I got a new camera because I lost mine in shipping. I mean, in uh, moving. I, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. Hopefully, it's with a bunch of money. Um, because, you know, like I said, I ain't been selling. So, I don't got no money. And I kind of need some. Because you need money to live, you know? I can't live off my good looks. Um, actually, I have sold some, which is really surprising. Because all of the stuff in my store... It's really old. Like, it's been there, it seems like, forever. But I have steadily been selling things over time. I've sold, uh, since I put my store back on, so it's been a little less than a month. I only have 250 items, maybe, listed. Let me see. I can actually just tell you how many I have listed, because my eBay's right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I have 201. That's all I have. I have 201 things available and I have sold in the last 30 days which doesn't really count because my store wasn't even on until I think the 25th um I sold 601 dollars in stuff which isn't a lot but it is actually a lot considering the fact that I haven't listed in months and I've got old stuff in there and I only have 200 things and they're all kind of junky like they're not junk but they're not the best of stuff you know, they've been there for a long time. 
So I'm actually pretty impressed uh, with 600 bucks because I would have suspected it being none. But when I get to listing, it's going to, you know, eBay loves that activity. So hopefully, and I'm going to get back into doing my sales updates for you guys. So next, uh, so this week, I'm going to say probably Wednesday or however I'm feeling. I might do it later today. Who knows? You know, I do YouTube whenever I feel like it. Um, I, uh, I'll go ahead and do a sales update for you guys and show you what all the junk is I sold over the last month um, for my 600 bucks. So anyway, does anybody have any questions before I get off here? Uh, I see the crazy card is asking would I double box that? No, not this one because it's already in the box and the box is reinforced inside. So I'm not I'm not gonna double box this because it's only half porcelain and it's setting on top of cloth and I might, what I'll do is make sure that the little wood thing inside doesn't uh, move around. So I'll probably put some bubble wrap in there and just put it in the box. I think it'll be fine. Uh, other than that, does anybody else have any other questions before I get out of here? Because it's time for me to actually list this stuff. The reason why I wanted to do this type of video is because while I'm talking about the things that I bought, like a haul video, I'm also doing research with you guys, which I normally do when I do hauls. However, I'm saving the drafts, so I don't have to re-research them. My pricing research is done. Uh, the titles are basically done. I'll add a couple things, move things around. Um, but other than that, the listing just needs the pictures in the description, and I'm on with my day. So it's kind of a twofer for me. So you'll probably see a lot more of these videos if you like them because I'm doing my work and also kind of sharing my haul. So that was why I thought it was good, but I don't know. You tell me, it's up to you guys, so. Um, all right, I don't see any other questions, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys for coming out and watching me today, sharing your last, I guess it was hour. And uh, I hope you have a really good day, and thanks for all your support, you guys. Love you so much. If you ever have any questions, make sure to just go over to the Pinching Pesos Facebook page, and leave a comment or you can send me a personal message um, or leave your comments below. Bye.